Hey guys, today I'll give you a short tutorial on how to add media files to your website. We can use media to add video or audio files to our website, which is an excellent tool to spice up your web page. So first things first, I'm going to head over to our portfolio page. So to do that, I'll go up here to pages on the top left. I'll click on that and I'll just click on portfolio. So to add the media files, you can simply go to the add section of the sidebar. So I'll go over here, I'll press add. And from there under media section, you can choose the type of media which you wish to add. So initially I'll add an audio file. So I'll just click on that. And you can see it appears right here. Now I'll just drag it down here to this big empty space. And I'll use this little blue dot to stretch it so that it fits. So using the audio file as an example first, we can click on it. And over here in the panel box, we can see we have a few different options on how to customize the way the audio file is played. But most importantly, I'll show you how to upload and change your audio file. So I'll go up here to change. And you can see this menu pops up. Now to upload an audio file, we can go over here and click on upload. Just a quick note, this tool supports most audio formats, such as an MP3 file. All right, so I'll just click here on my music file in my sample media files folder, and I'll click on open. And you can see it uploads right there. Now I'll select the file and I'll press use selected. Now, as you can see, the file has changed up here. And when I go to the preview, it will play this audio file. Now for a video file, there's actually two ways you can add one to your web page. The first method is called a video link, where you can upload a video to a video sharing site such as Vimeo or YouTube, and then we can simply input the link to the URL. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. I'll head over here to the sidebar and I'll click on add. From here in our media section, I'll click on video link and you can see it appears right here. Now I'll just drag this over here and I'll scale it down a little bit so that it fits. Now to change the link for the video, we can click right here on the video itself and over here in the panel box, this allows us to choose which link we would like to use. So I already have a link that I've copied from a YouTube video, so I'll just paste that into there. And you can see the video has changed. We also have a few different options down here which can customize the way the video is played. For a second and final way to add video to our website, I'm gonna use this space down here. So I'll just delete this. Now this method of adding video is called a video file. It's pretty similar to the video link, except you're uploading your own video files. So I'll go over here to add. Under media, I can click on video file and I'll just drag this down here. Now, much as we uploaded our own audio file, I can go over here to the panel box and click on change. And from here, I can click on upload. And this time I will choose my video MP4 file. So I'll click on that and I'll press open. Now I'll just select the file and I'll press use selected. And now when I go to preview, the video file will play in this box. Now, just a quick note, we support most video formats, such as MP4. All right, guys, that's been the adding media files to your website tutorial. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, follow our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube. Thanks for watching.